For years, there's been talks of widening Fire Tower Road and Porter Town Road. NCDOT says the more than $80 million project is in development with construction starting in summer 2026. The proposal turns these roads into four lanes with a divided median. It also adds bike lanes and sidewalks to the streets. Nine on your side, Sarah Gray Barr checked in on the project and is getting a look at how some people at ECU are getting involved. NC DOT's proposed widening covers 2.8 miles of road, both on Fire Tower and Porter Town. The project is divided into two parts, widening a stretch of Fire Tower Road between Charles Boulevard and 14th Street, and also widening Fire Tower to Porter Town and Porter Town to 10th Street. NC DOT says the project will help make traveling easier in Greenville. The purpose of the Fire Tower Road, Porter Town Road widening project is to improve traffic flow and reduce congestion as well as reduce crashes and enhance connectivity in the area. NCDOT says the right-of-way acquisition is currently underway and each project's right-of-way acquisition is unique. During our investigation into this project, we, re we realized there were some graves within the existing right-of-way that DOT currently owns. The right-of-way unit was in charge of going through the, all the processes, procedures, and laws that are in place to locate family members and get all the, the proper authorizations. NCDOT says the Office of State Archaeology is responsible for letting the public know about the archaeological process. With the help of the Pitt County Historical Society, NCDOT's right-of-way team contacted the people with family at the site. And that site is the historic Red Bank's Primitive Baptist Church. When driving down Fire Tower Road, you might notice a cemetery. NCDOT is working to get in contact with the families, getting permission to move the graves before any construction can take place. East Carolina University says they plan to help too. After NCDOT moves the graves, ECU anthropology professor Charles Ewan says students in public archaeology classes will start documenting and mapping out the cemetery. Flag all of the graves, number them all, then we'll use our transit to map in all the graves exactly where they are. I'll have another crew taking pictures of all the gravestones and another couple crews uh, writing down all the information. He says the students will also create a website to help people find family members resting there. The names and the pictures will all be keyed to the locations and you'll be able to see a map that has crosses where all the, the different graves are. In Greenville, Sarah Graybar, 9 on your side.